where do you think in the medium term investors can uh, uh, make a decent uh, packet provided uh, you know they look at monthly purchases in a particular stock and you know hold it for the long term where do you see relative value uh, emerging in uh, uh, the auto space after a decent correction in both the index and prices uh, yeah so auto as a sector i believe is the in for a structural uh, uh, bull run for next 2 to 3 years but uh, uh, again uh, there are many one can ride this sector through auto oem as well as auto ancillary but as of now i would like to discuss one company which i feel uh, uh, is well placed uh, uh, in terms of risk reward ratio so aishar motor is the company which i like uh, from medium to long term perspective uh, one of the leading uh, uh, motorcycle player in uh, 250 to 750 uh, cc middleweight uh, motorcycle segment uh, in addition to that they have got an commercial vehicle portfolio in association with the uh, volvo uh if i look at uh, uh, basically uh, gross story uh, first quarter results were very uh, healthy set of numbers wherein we have seen motorcycle volume uh, has increased by 22% year over year to 227000 unit the vcv volume which is a commercial vehicle volume has increased by 12% to 19500 units so both these businesses are firing for the aisha motor but at the same time the stock was under pressure of late due to the uh, increase in competitive intensity so we have seen Bajaj uh, and Hero uh, launching uh, a, a motorcycle in the same category. And hence, uh, the stock was, uh, uh, I mean, the street was a little bit skeptical on uh, what will happen in case the competition increases for Aisha Motor. But one has to keep in mind that Aisha Motor is commanding 90% market share in that category. And it's not so easy to uh, dethrone the market leader uh, uh, from the market. And having said that, Aisha, for Aisha Motor, the export uh, piece is doing very well. So if I remember uh, in FY16, uh, export used to contribute 3% uh, to the top line, around 150 crore top line, uh, 150 uh, crore sales from export business. And right now the export business is standing at 2000 crore and that is a 15% of the total revenue. So I think the export biz, uh, business uh, piece is kicking in for Aisha. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I feel uh, one can add this right. talk in. Uh, uh, we'll just, Mr. Agarwal, Yes, Mr. Agarwal, just a moment, sir. We'll show you a lot of data. And of course, we'll add this in the SIP format. Uh, the price to earnings for Aisha Motor is about 28%. And here is uh, a couple of interesting data. Uh, the PCR will uh, fire a long-term chart for you. And perhaps one reason why Mr. Agarwal has uh, picked up uh, Aisha Motors is that in the one-year period, uh, if you see on the longer term, Actually, Aisha Motors has been the worst performing FNO stock in the auto space, down about 1.6%. So you probably will see a very nice swing coming in uh, into this space. And the chart also says that it's trading below uh, 200 DMA. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, all points well taken. Uh, a very, very strong brand franchise. Uh, the person sitting in front of you has sold off three bikes uh, uh, I can tell you the brand equity of Aisha Motors is uh, phenomenal. Uh, you buy a bike, you feel very good and then you sell it off and then you feel very bad. So uh, the brand salience is phenomenal. And uh, just uh, let me highlight a couple of uh, uh, other market capitalization that you see is about 91,000 crores. And the trailing 12 month uh, uh, earnings is about uh, 3,200 crores. Uh, revenue is about 15,000 crores. So in terms of margins, the company, uh, because of its brand salience, has a very, very strong command on both uh, the market as well as uh, uh, the buy, uh, you know, buyers such as me. So that's Aisha for you. Uh, in the FNO space, remember, uh, these are stocks for the long term. Uh, buy the dip. Uh, use, uh, uh, you know, monthly purchases, one stock, two stock, three stocks, if you wish to build up a portfolio in such stocks and then probably look at the medium to long term to see uh, decent gains. So this was uh, from the large cap space, uh, uh, Mr. Agarwal. Uh, what is sunny side up uh, in uh, the cash segment? Uh, yeah, so uh, in mid cap, what I feel is that chemical as a sector has been uh, one of the worst performing sectors since last uh, 12 months. But again, uh, here one company which I like is Archean Chemical Industries Limited, which is the uh, traded in uh, with a stock code of ECI. Uh, ACI. 
so again it's the uh, 6000 7000 crore market cap company the company is market leader in the uh, specialty marine chemicals in india and the product which uh, the company is into one is the uh, bromine which is a, a kind of non metallic element and it and it is a uh, used in uh, many uh, end user industries like pharma agrochemical flame retardant water treatment oil and gas and in addition to that company is into the industrial salt which is the for which the end user industry is a chloralkali chemical food and beverages water treatment oil and gas so what i feel is that the company has recently commissioned a, a capacity of bromine uh, uh, and uh, the capacity has gone up to the uh, uh, tune of 30% and the full advantage of that will be seen in the current uh, fiscal that is fy24 and at the same time company uh, in its recent con call has went on record to say that the bromine prices have stabilized and there is no downside as per as bromine prices is concerned uh, having said that the return ratios are very healthy roe roc uh, north of 25% the company has the uh, turn net debt free uh, during the quarter so net uh, debt equity is uh, uh, negligible almost nil so what i feel is that uh, as of now the asset turnover has reduced uh, from 1.6 last year to 1.3 but what i believe is that as the capacity ramp up the asset turnover will increase and again the uh, numbers will start looking good so i feel one can add this stock uh, for a 30% upside in the long term portfolio add gradually definitely chemical is not a, a flavor uh, is not in flavor as of now uh, so what i would suggest is that this is a good opportunity to add a one of the leaders in a, a specialty marine chemical business in the long term portfolio right and in front of you uh, the pcr has already fired a long term chart uh, the last week has been very good for arkian chemicals you've seen a low of uh, uh, somewhere like 500 in the stock appreciated more than 10% from there uh, but uh, uh, mr agarwal puts it really well uh, the all time high is 728 and it's available at 558 in front of you and uh, uh, the most wonderful part is that on a net debt level uh, arkian chemicals is uh, almost uh, net debt free cash of about 242 crores on the balance sheet and just a total debt of about 22 crore rupees and what's really good is that uh, the price has corrected sharply and mr agarwal very rightly mentions uh, that if you look at the peer comparison uh, the stock offers a relatively uh, lower uh, price point to enter price to earnings is just 18 uh, i'm looking at five other peers where the uh, price to earnings is anywhere between um, 20 to 94 price to book for arkian is uh, you know 4.5 in the mid zone uh, the other uh, uh, peer groups have a price to book of you know 1 to 11 so good valuations and the fact that a fresh plant has been commissioned means that both the top line and the uh, revenue uh, and the uh, net profit will uh, improve from here on if you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.